for big bull elephant here on Buffalo Plains. You can see the backdrop behind me. It's a very, very open area. Very good afternoon to all our viewers. Didn't even have to do an introduction. The Berry Pride is right in the middle of Tinswala Camp between our main lodge and our staff area. So we've had to tell all the staff to stay in their houses. Definitely nobody walking around as there's three Mberi lionesses right in the camp. We've managed to find them in quite a big thicket over here. Hopefully they'll come out and give us a better view. It's not often we do get lions in, in camp, but now with less and less guests in around the camp and less activity around the camp, lions and leopards start to come in a lot more. So they won't harm anyone. Just coming in looking for impalas, looking for wildebeest, and seeing what they can find in the camp. But we just take extra precaution. And don't allow anyone to walk around, especially while there's lions in the camp. Oh, that berry looks injured. Lionesses are up. They are definitely looking to hunt this, this afternoon. So I'm sure they're going to continue trying to hunt. A lot of impala and a lot of wildebeest in the camp at the moment. The berries are just relaxing under the tree here. I've seen two at the moment. You can sometimes hear the noises in the background and that's actually the head of housekeeping bringing up the housekeepers for the evening to the lodge. She looks like one of the females with suckle marks there. Lions are looking in such good condition at the moment. Feeding well. Looks like she's got a definite mm. limb. And the berries have moved into quite a large thicket. I don't want to put too much more pressure on them. But yeah, what a great sighting to find them berry lines. Three of them. Looks like one of the females did have suckle marks. It's probably one of the older females with her cubs. She's just moving around with some of the younger ones. But uh, we're going to carry on driving. We'll see if we can pick them up later. for big bull elephant here on Buffalo Plains. You can see the 
backdrop behind me. It's a very, very open area. Zebra is very alert. Yeah, the Franklin's calling me. All those lines moved through this area today, so the game's a little bit more observant than normal. We're right up north in the Gabbro and Basalt areas, and there's a beautiful stretch tower, journey, or kaleidoscope of giraffe. I'm just focusing on two here, and then I'll zoom out and you can see the rest. But this area is very, very open. It reminds me of some parts of the Serengeti or Masai Mara. What makes the Manuleti and Tinswala so diverse from everywhere else. You've got these big open plains, you've got the beautiful Nwazan Sonso River, Rhine area, and then the Combretum thickets. But this is a beautiful open area here. Got a lot of game up here, a lot of giraffe, a lot of zebra, wildebeest. coming down the road towards us. up at skybeds now we're with the hippos some water buck in the background and you can hear the buffalo weavers chirping in the trees above so we're just gonna listen to the bush noises for a bit <coughs> Hippo opening its mouth on the right hand side <coughs> Last ray of the sunset is hitting Skybeds Dam. It's a tranquil and peaceful place at the moment. Well, everyone, that brings us to the end of a fantastic evening safari. I'm going to head back to the camp now. As I say, if we do get anything in the evening, be under the spotlight but this will probably be the last sighting with some good light so we'll keep you posted and yeah what a fantastic drive it was this afternoon with starting off with Mbiris right in the middle of the camp great general game zebra wildebeest elephants sunsets European rollers and then ending off here at Skybeds with the sound of the hippos buffalo weavers and a water buck in the background.